sung the loudest of the world's shoutmasters are the famous screaming Swiss of Switzerland. <laughs> Who on earth could possibly outshout these magnificent megaphonic mountaineers? <laughs> of polluted air, polluted water, and radioactive soft drinks. But have you ever stopped to consider one of the great silent killers of modern life, noise? Wine! Experts are now recommending that every home should contain special areas dedicated to total silence. That's stupid! Now, Wayne, don't be so quick to criticize. A little pocket of peace and quiet sounds like a lovely idea. So give your ears a rest, for as the poet said, the rest is silence! Ah! Lucian, please, that's not funny. Now get up and stop playing games at the table. supposed to be a uh, silent zone? Mm. <laughs> ah! <laughs> Excuse me? Can't you read? Well, not without my spectacles, no. It says this is a no spectacle zone. You want them back? Come and get them. Hey, give those back! <laughs> <laughs> according to violence type and level of cruelty was far too complex. You ruined everything! I did not. And you're in a no-pants zone. There is no such thing. Oh, yeah? This whole room is a no-pants zone. And hey, look! You're wearing pants! Ah! Stop it! Cut it out! <laughs> You are aware, of course, young Wayne, that this means war! Hey, what's going on? It is Wayne. He has left me no choice but all out war! Aha! Then to the swamp! Perfect. Frog 
dogs make Wayne cry. Splendid. Mm -hmm. Why, yes, Mrs. Winkle, we would be delighted and honored to have you join our little group. We all have to support one another, don't you think? Well, we call ourselves the Dust Busters. But of course, dust is barely scratching the surface if you follow my meaning. Uh, excuse me. Wayne! Lucian! I don't mind you playing, but you must not make a mess. Oh, <laughs> I'm so sorry, Mrs. Winkle. <laughs> yes, yes, a deep clean, exactly. It's so compelling, isn't it? Why, sometimes in the middle of the night when I get a fit of the cleanies, you've been there too? Oh, I'm sure we all have now, haven't we? Well, it's just so comforting to be able to call Marsha or Tandy to talk me through it. To share all those little tricks of the trade, if you get my drift. <laughs> yes, yes, which detergents work best on which stubborn stains and how to disinfect and destroy every last one of those nasty germs. Because you know they're always lurking, even if you can't see them. <laughs> Now you boys run along and play outside. Mother's having a special meeting here this afternoon. But Mom, you really ought to know that the house is no place for children on a beautiful day like this. Now go on, boys. Out you go. Oh, hello. Oh, come right in. Welcome to the meeting. How nice you could all come. Oh, oh my. Oh, Marcia, someone's been doing look, some cleaning in here. It's hey? so tidy. It's tidy. Mrs. Winkle, I am so pleased you've come to join our little group. Yes, of course. You have such a refreshingly modest home, don't you, Mrs. Cramp? Yes, I suppose so, but it gets surprisingly filthy. <laughs> ah! 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 Oh, no, no, you don't want that. Please, save the milk for later. Uh, here, this is how we sit on this special chair. Isn't that comfy? No, no, don't stand over there. Come here, next to the wall. That's better. Now keep your arms up, why don't you? Yes, like that. out. Sheer bliss. This is the best meeting we've ever had, don't you think, dear? Now, if you'll excuse me, ladies, I'd better attend to my boys. Oh, I'll go get them off. Coming, Mrs. Winkle? Yes, I suppose so. <laughs> Wait for me! Well, aren't you a sight? It it's his fault! Fortunately, I've developed a new subatomic shampoo and everlasting hair gel that should clean you up quite nicely. What? I'll have you spick and span and lovely as can be in no time. But that's not fair, Mother. Everything turned out just fine. Your friend said it was the best meeting they've ever had. You can't punish us for that. Of course I can't punish you for that. Phew. <laughs> but, you know, you are talking in the silent zone.
pretty dolly, little swamp girl. I want it. You can't have it. It's mine. It's my onlyest toy. Here, I'll give you a bar of soap for it. Oh, look, it's pink. You need soap, dirty little swamp girl. I don't want your smelly soap. Sorry, you already touched it. Deal the deal. Uh, Bye. Uh, hey, uh, you get that back. back. Uh, Wendy Winkle, that was not fair. Doesn't she understand that's a swamp toy? I don't think she understands anything. Swamp toys belong in the swamp. Nature will have its dark revenge. Oh, rain, rain, rain. Oh, Wooly, why can't the weather be more like me? Sunny and happy. Because nothing could ever be as beautiful as you, Wendy Winkle. Oh, Wooly, you make me blush. Kiss me, you fool. A smudge! Ew. What's the matter, Pumpkin? Something's wrong with Wooly. Who? Wooly Winkle, Daddy. Only my favorite fuzz baby in my whole fuzz baby collection. Something's growing on him. Something dirty and smelly and... You better let me handle this, Peaches. Winkle here. We've got serious dirt. In my own home, where my child plays with her toys. Ah, uh, we're ready to uh, disinfect now, sir. There's only one thing dirt understands, and that's soap. Never forget that. I uh, never do, sir. Perhaps you should wait outside. This could get uh, sudsy. He's my favorite, favorite Fuzz Baby. I thought Fuzz Camel was your favorite. Not for weeks. Ah, uh, I'm afraid it's fungus, sir. Fur fungus. <gasps> We've uh, done all we can. You mean? Yes, I'm sorry, sir. We're gonna have to uh, shave it. Oh! <laughs> This way, Wooly. I never really understood why a cow needed fur anyway. Here, I'll move Bunny Winkle closer so he can keep you warm and. <gasps> Bunny? <gasps> Shake me! <gasps> Horsey! Giraffe! Daddy! Daddy, when all this is over, I'm gonna have some really ugly toys. <laughs> Don't worry, Dumpling. Daddy will buy you new ones. You know, Daddy, if my fuzz babies caught that horrible fungus, who's to say it couldn't happen to the whole town? Oh, nonsense, Sweetlingtons. This is Soap City. But what if it spreads and spreads and spreads, and pretty soon everybody's fuzz babies are covered with fungus? Dirty, smelly fungus. Oh, Daddy. Don't worry, Cheesecake. Your daddy won't let that happen. Good. Don't. Don't worry, kids. Just a quick inspection. We'll get them right back to you. babies. Why? So they can shave them. Evidently, the fur is harboring some deadly disease. That is ridiculous. Oh? You think so? Fuzz babies don't carry disease. They're just clumps of wool and cotton that kids get unnaturally attached to. Yes. Like my little sister. That is not the point, Tony. I'm concerned about my fuzz babies. Mine! <gasps> I gotta hide them! Come on! Oh, they're all gone! Looking for something, girl pants? I was gonna.
gonna turn him in. But why should those Hascam guys have all the fun? Don't you touch my fuzz babies! Back off, lizard legs! One step closer, and little llama eats steel! You wouldn't! Is that a dare? Listen to me, Wayne. We can't let some big corporation march into our homes and put the razor to our most cherished possessions. It's brutal and barbaric. Yes, it's brutal and barbaric. That's why I've come up with something much better. Come see. Wayne! See? It's nifty and much more humane. How come? It's quick. What more do you want? Watch the potato, fish face. <laughs> This is terrible. No fur, no mess! Yeah! Sorry, girl pants. Little llama needs a trip. No! What's wrong with it? Nothing's wrong. It's a loud machine! Ha! Huh. Not even a scratch. Huh? Your brother is part of the problem, not the solution. He always is. But I'm afraid Wayne's not the real problem, Tony. Nobody's fuzz baby is safe until we get to the bottom of this. And I think I've got a good idea where the bottom is. You do? Follow me. What are we looking for? Wendy's room. How do we know it's hers? Trust me, Lucian. Call it Swamp Folk Intuition. Shh. I think this is it. Wow. It's like some alternate girl universe. Do you think we'll turn pink? Just don't touch anything, and we'll be all right. There. Perfect. Now, what to test it on? Lucian, stupid dolly! Where do you think a girl would keep her fuzz babies? They're not under here. Here they are! <gasps> Look! They've all been shaved. It couldn't be Wendy, then. She wouldn't shave her own fuzz babies, would she? Lucian, look at this. It's a swap toy. Your sister's swap toy. Take your swampy little hands off my weirdy winkle. <gasps> He's my favorite stuffed animal, and if you harm him, I will destroy you. Don't you know that swamp toys mustn't ever leave the swamp? Information, shrimp boy. Your sister gave it to me. Oh, that's not the way I saw it. And it happens to be my last remaining fuzzy toy, so back off! It's gonna make everything in your house moldy and slimy and... I don't care! Give it! <laughs> Swamp. I'm gonna have you both arrested. Look! Ah! What's happening? The mold. It's growing on whatever's wet. Make it stop. Tony, make it stop! Can you do that? Of course I can. I'm a child of this swamp. Then do it! All right, Wendy, but on two conditions. What? What? One, you call off the Hascam trucks. Everybody gets to keep their fuss babies. Oh, yes. Yes, all right. And the other... I don't know. It appears to be kind of flabby. Can you take it in a little? Get out before I hurt you. 